um, really lift up the issues um, that we're working on, civil liberties, immigration reform, civil rights. Um, so I'm just uh, very happy to be here. I'd like to also recognize a couple of um, board members of the New York Immigration Coalition. Linda Sarsour of the Arab American Association, I think is somewhere in the room. And, uh, Paul Rosby from COPO is also here. Um, so, so the Arab and Muslim community is very well represented um, at the New York Immigration Coalition. We have about 200 member organizations in various ethnic communities that work with immigrants um, uh, on a range of different issues. Um, and Arab um, and Muslim communities are a vital part of our coalition. Um, I want to, I, I I don't know where to start. I, I feel like there's such a crisis in our communities and, and, and that it might be worth um, going over a couple of um, uh, uh, statistics that, that many of us are familiar with. Um, uh, uh, um, so just looking at some basic steps, like last year, um, we had 350,000 immigrants who were deported um, during last year. And then on top of that, um, the number of people who were detained last year is almost half a million, and 440,000 people are detained um, at the cost of $1.7 billion. And these numbers may be familiar to us, but, but I have to tell you, when I go to speak to more mainstream audiences and ask people, oh, how many people do you think are detained or deported? People say 10,000. Um, or say, I said, no, you know, a, a little more. And they say 20,000, 30,000. It takes a while before getting up to the, the horrendous number that we have here. We have a, a mass deportation and detention program in this country. And the enforcement apparatus um, that goes with that, that is creating a, a huge crisis in our, in our communities. Um, in addition to those numbers, um, as you know, a lot of our community members suffer from mandatory detention policies, um, retroactive application, you know, change the rules after people have already um, uh, uh, served their time. Um, uh, there's different kinds of um, racial profiling and expansion of criminalization of immigrants. So, so these are all the things that are happening. Um, and so it's pretty hard to keep a lid on our communities. Um, and continue to tell people change is coming and change is coming. And I just want to ask one question to everybody. A um, couple of questions. How many people were excited that President Obama and this administration has promised change and immigration reform during the elections? Just about a year ago, right? We were excited, we were hopeful. How many people think that President Obama delivered on that change? We have two people in a room full of maybe 250 people. Two people um, at this town hall meeting thinks President Obama delivered on positive change. Um, I think that is a problem, right? Um, when the president um, gave his State of the Union address, I don't know about you, but I was waiting and hoping and expecting for him to talk about immigration reform. Did we hear? hope uh, and commitment. Um, we got a throwaway sentence, one sentence talking about just alluding to immigration reform. Now immigration reform is not going to happen if we just let things kind of go as they, they are right now. Um, and so that's why it's so important that we bring our communities together and take action to make immigration happen. Immigration reform, I was asked to talk about what is comprehensive immigration reform and what we need to do um, to, to make that happen. As you know, immigration reform is made up of several uh, parts. Due process and civil liberties is one of those major parts um, that has to be part of comprehensive immigration reform. We also know that legalization has to be part of it. We also know that family unity has to be part of it. We also know that worker rights and worker visas have to be part of it. So those are kind of the some of the major components um, that need to be in a, a, a comprehensive immigration reform bill. And we need to make sure that, that one issue is not squashed or sacrificed over another. Um, we need all, all of these parts um, uh, included in a comprehensive immigration reform 